everybody, Happy New Year! Today is the first day of 2018 and um, it doesn't feel that much different. It just feels like, well, 2018. So I decided to kick off January with something a little bit new. I am going to be trying all this month hauls from brands I've never done a haul from before. So all new plus size brands. So today's haul I'm starting out with is from the brand Rue 21. Now, I have purchased things from them before, well like once, like three years ago, and it was terrible. But they have long since improved their plus size game. I've been thinking to thinking about giving them a go, and so here I am, I'm gonna give them a go. So I got myself a box. As an FYI, everything featured in these hauls, I have paid for. The reason is, is I want to give you guys a first experience with some of these brands. Some of these brands I'm going to be talking about are a little controversial and I don't feel like there's honest opinions about them. And yeah, so let's get to opening the box. Mm, please be in focus. I don't want you to joke with us. So, I've gotten the box open. I just like did it on the thing. First thing is, in there came a 40% off a $40 purchase ticket. And this is from January 18th to Monday, January 22nd. So, if I like this ish, then maybe I'll check it out. This is what the box looks like inside. It's a bunch of stuff. Let's open it up. No, I got, I think I spent about 200 bucks and I did all the super sale stuff, but it's all new stuff. I tried to get stuff that was like new to the site, so stuff you can still get. The first thing I got, I don't know what just fell out of the bag. I got selfishly because I just don't have any like winter hats and this one had like a rainbow pom pom, so I was into it. It's very light. It also feels like, oh no, it does fit. It felt a little bit like it was for a baby, but I don't know. Do I look cool now? I feel like with my t-shirt and this beanie, I could like be in a dance crew. It's very comfortable, but it is cotton, it's not wool. This is not gonna keep you that warm. Warmer than I am currently because I currently am rocking no hat, so. There you go. Aha. This is, I think, a, a t-shirt. And this, it's just, it's basic and not that great, and I probably won't wear it. Yes, it's a t-shirt. Oh, this is cute. So it's t-shirt fabric, but on the sides, it's tie up, which you know I'm like really into tying things up. <laughs> what does that say about me? So you have a full tie up the side. It's actually really way better made than I thought it would be. Rue 21's a very inexpensive brand, so I thought it would be more pricey. This is a 3X. It looks on the smaller side, though it should still fit. I have to laugh at the brand name on this, so they're one of those stores that like buys a bunch of other brands and then sells them under their name. The name of this company is Moral Fiber. I can't even. Just imagine like a man with a Bible designing this. It's genuine like normal t-shirt fabric. I'm trying to get what it's actually made out of. And every time, ah, there we go. What's this? Yes. I found it. It's all like junky together. It is cotton and spandex, mostly cotton actually. So this is quite a good little find. I like this and I'm trying to open myself up more to the baby pink perspective because it's just, it's not my color but it does look good on me. Well obviously I was thinking that because I got something else in the baby pink. This is definitely, a, it feels like a sweatshirt. So uh, people like to tell fat people they look like they're cased in a sausage and I've never felt that way. But I really do right now. The color is terrible. The fit is awful. And this is the second thing I've tried on from Moral Dilemma. And I've realized my Moral Dilemma is to never buy anything with that label again because they don't fit me right and they don't know how to cut for plus size. It's terrible. Moral Dilemma. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. So it's lightweight again. Obviously more ties. I will say... Why so much length? This is at the bottom of the sweatshirt. Am I really gonna pull it out that far or maybe I'm supposed to? Well, honestly with my thighs, I probably will need 
to <laughs> get a lot of room down there with my booty and thighs. But this is a distressed sweatshirt. Now, I have purchased a distressed sweatshirt from somewhere before. I think it was Charlotte Russe. And that thing was terrible. It was super itchy. But this one is really soft. To get in that baby pink color, and it has little holes everywhere. So, um, little slashing at the different areas. And then on the other side, you're gonna see it's like that terry cloth fabric. So it's probably not great all by itself for the winter, but stylistically, it's really well sewn and it's cute. It's a polyester and viscose mix. And, you know, it's better, like, okay, no, I'm catching one thing here. So, I talk about this a lot, but like armhole construction, especially on lower cost goods, is usually off. So when you're looking at an armhole, you're not, like you don't sew the arm dry, directly on, you sew it underneath, right? So there's like a, there's like a, you're, if you cut a sleeve off, it's not, it is straight up, it's different, right? But you have to accommodate for a larger arm. So, so when they get lazy, sometimes they make the arms really weirdly small. And this one feels like for a 3X, it's a tiny arm. Now I'm gonna try it on, but I'm already seeing this and going, this is not constructed for a plus size person. Whatever. Next! Mm. So, I've heard a lot about their jeans. So these are the jeans, and these are definitely cut for an apple shape. I'm having a ton of room here after just putting them on, but they are very true to size for a size 24. As far as the leg goes, the waist is on the bigger size. So honestly, I would suggest that you actually might size down in Route 21 jeans. Well, I've heard like mixed reviews. I feel like everyone's always going, what about their jeans? So I got a pair of their jeans. These are the ultra high rise jegging. I got them in a 24. They are just from note here, super stretchy. Uh, and I'm looking at them and they look genuinely okay. I picked these specifically because I don't have a really, really dark wash jean and I really liked the piping down the front. Now the piping here, oh my goodness, I didn't even know this. I got, what, what do you call those, stirrup pants. They're stirrup pants. So this is, these are just won my happiness. I really hope they fit well. The waist itself is still that same elastic. So my concern here is if I have a tinier waist, which I do, if this stretches out at all, like you can see right now, it's perfect for my size, but if it stretches out at all, we're gone. So we'll give these a go, I'll let you know my thoughts on them, but they are on the very stretchy size side of denim. Far stretchier than anything I felt recently. I'm smelling them, because sometimes jeans have these weird, like especially the stretchy ones, smell like chemical. I don't know how to explain it and then you don't realize it until you wear them for a little while and then you start to smell like chemical and then you're sitting there going like what is that weird chemical smell? It's so gross and then you realize it's you. It's your sweat which has activated the nasty chemical smell to make everything you own smell like sadness. So I'm just making sure that these don't have that. I'm gonna test this and this is really sad but sometimes when you have dark denim like this and you don't wash them and you rub it against something it actually darkens it. So I'm just gonna rub it against my shirt for a little bit. No, the color is actually staying really well too, so we'll see. We'll see on these. I'm, uh, the cut may not, I mean like with the stretchiness may not work right, but I like that they're stirrup pants and I like that they have that um, seam down the front. Okay, this is very soft, whatever it is, it is very, very soft. So note I have like no shapewear or anything on. This is a thin dress. You'd probably need to wear some shorties or something underneath it just to like smooth things out if you're uncomfortable, but it is so damn comfortable. It is just as comfortable as I imagined, maybe even more so. I could sleep in this, no problems. This could be a night shirt, this could be a day shirt, this could be an evening shirt, and that makes it a winning shirt. Oh, this is cute. I must have been in a college theme for this one. Very Harry Potter. Um, this is the so like one of the softest t-shirts I've ever felt. It is so incredibly soft. And it's just this fun little maroon color. And then it has these fun stripes down the side. This feels like my dreams. This is, the, I can't, it's the softest t-shirt fabric I've ever felt. I hope this fits me well because I will wear this all the time because of how soft it is. It is quite long too. It's almost like a dress. Maybe it's supposed to be a dress and I'm just too tall for it to be a dress. 
I think that might be the case, guys. I think this is actually a dress. <laughs> Not a t-shirt, it's just a very soft dress. But I'm really, really into the, how the fabric feels and just really surprised. I was actually expecting most of this stuff to be terrible, uh, so it's kind of nice that it's turning out reasonably well. There's some sewing things with the arms, but man, like for the most part, I'm not deeply disappointed, which is what I expected. I was like, get ready for a reality check in 2018. But no, it's great so far. So I'm into the lace-up stuff. As you can see, it's another lace-up top. So I was actually worried about this being too tight and it fits me really, really well. And with these jeans, it like super accentuates my hip. I think it's adorable and definitely very much out more out there for me, but I, I like it and I love this so much. And this is just a little crop. It looks quite, well, I don't know. It just might be the sewing. This is a 3X again. Again, these are on the smaller size for 3X because um, I normally wear a 3X, uh, between a 2X and a 3X, usually 3X is a little oversized on me. I'm looking at this and these are looking like they're going to be very fitted for a 3. So, so Rue 21 and a lot of their things does go up to a 4X. So if you're on the line, I would just size up. And I think their jeans go up to a size 28 as well. So it's not every pair, but they're trying. So this looks interesting. I mean, it's just a black t-shirt. It's not as soft as the other t-shirt, but I do like the thickness of it because it's nice with this kind of thick lacing detail with the grommets kind of going up. It is very stretchy, so this is more to conform to your bodies. At some point in my life, I'm gonna have to stop buying ridiculous colored faux fur. But today is not that day. This is a pastel pink bobber jacket and faux fur. So this is the pink bomber jacket and I love it. A, it's super true to size. It's actually a little bit on the bigger end. I probably could have gotten a two in this. And it's so <laughs> soft and a lot warmer because I just saw images in the look outside and it's like eight degrees and I survived. So that says a lot. Lying to Nasty it is <laughs> just amazing. I have nothing else to say other than it's very soft. It's, it's like those blankets you buy at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if anyone else is gonna relate to that analogy, but there's these blankets that are super soft that you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond or like Marshalls. They're usually like 20 bucks and they're miraculously soft and they stay that way and nobody knows how and I don't know why they're $20 because I would legit pay 100 for them. That is what it feels like this jacket is made out of. I don't think it would be warm enough for the winter, but it would be a great spring piece. I actually really love it. It's, it's so pink. It's just so out there. It would look really cute over this shirt, actually. So this is fun. I hope it works out. So this sweatshirt I ordered, this I absolutely love. It's oversized, it's cropped, so it does that fun like, I'm at the beach. <laughs> Look at me! I am loving it. It's so cute. And the color is just really like bright and happy. I love this. It's one of my favorite things from this haul, for real. I actually originally had it in like a pink and maroon and I was like, I need to diversify my wardrobe because I'm beginning to just buy a color that I'm trying to work in. So this is a cropped hoodie with a slash cut in the blue. And it feels, again, really soft. Again, impressed with the quality here because I thought it was gonna be terrible. They have this in a couple different colors. I thought this would be a fun beach hoodie as I start to travel and do some, you know, lookbooks and stuff for slam wear season. I just had this vision of wearing this hoodie with like a bright colored bottom on the beach at night with like the sunset in the background. I probably will never get to take that photo, but in my mind I could see myself wearing this. I think the blue color is really fun as you go spring into... As, I think the blue color is really fun as you go like winter into spring. And I'm of the thought that when it gets colder, your, your clothes need to get brighter because then they can like keep everybody warm versus falling into a trap of all black and gray. I try to pull out like the brightest stuff I can. So people are like, blam, it's winter time. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll work this into my wardrobe. So this last item was the item I was most excited about when I saw it on site. It made me feel so high school again. I'm gonna wear these with my platform Tevas. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the most 90s thing. Oh my gosh, and those long barrettes that go right there. And 
very wide leg pants. I love this sweater. I love that it's a little cropped. I just, I love everything about it. It fits really well, it's comfortable. Thumbs up, Rue21, thumbs up. I don't know if any of you remember Delia's, but I always wanted everything from Delia's in the 90s, but I was too fat. This sweater is something that would have been in Delia's and I wouldn't have been able to have, but now I can have it. It is a cream sweater with this, you know, kind of athletic striping, but it's actually sewn into the sweater down the side in a kind of rainbow pastel. It's not quite rainbow, but it has that vibe. Very 90s. It is a lightweight sweater. It is composed of, I'm gonna guess a curly here just by the feeling of it, but I'm gonna try to find that tag and give you guys an honest Abe on this one. There is no tag, so I'm just gonna make it up. It's made of acrylic. Um, it is acrylic, <laughs> I'm right. Now I got this sweater in a 2X and I'm lucky because with everything else I got a three and this looks like it's gonna fit me fine in a two, but I, I just really love this. I really think it's one of those things that I just, you know, sometimes you go back in your childhood and you think about those things you can't have and when you can't have them, it's a very good feeling, right? When you finally get to fulfill a, a longing you've had since childhood. <laughs> so that's what this is. So overall, whoa, all the clothes just fall on the floor. Overall, here's my experience with Rue 21. I was not expecting it to be good. I was expecting it to be pretty low quality and to not really like anything that came in. I was wrong. Again, learning for me, try new brands because your preconceived notions aren't always right. And sometimes you're missing out on a really cost-effective brand. Rue 21 is not expensive. It's actually super accessible, super low budget solely because you have a thought of what they are and it's not really what they are. Maybe you had one piece that didn't work out. I actually think they're a great option, especially if you're younger for shopping for clothing. Hey guys, so after trying everything on, there's a couple things I wanted to share with you that I noticed. If the item was actually made by Rue 21, it was part of their Plus brand, it fit amazing. If it was part of a brand that they contracted or purchased from, it was terrible. So when you're looking and shopping on Rue 21, look for their home brand, aka what they designed because it's cut really well, it's consistent, and it's good quality. But overall, I'm really kind of excited about this is a new option for shopping. Uh, definitely more of an urban kind of feel to it, but I think the fabric is really soft on a lot of these items. There's not itchy products, and they're fairly well constructed, especially at the price point. So it's a win for me. Definitely recommend you check them out. There's links to everything I showed you guys down in the description box if you have any questions about how things fit. I'm gonna be creating an outfit out of the items that I put here that I will be putting on Instagram as well. So if you wanna see that look, go and check out my Instagram. I'll link it down below. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Have an amazing 2018. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll check you later and peace.